So for salmon itself, um, there are some regional signs for it. Uh, if you watch the conversation starter video, he talks about the salmon and I've seen it signed a couple different ways. I've seen it like most of the time I've seen it this way. Um, I've also seen it this way. Um, the, the idea is like the fish have that, that sort of beak that comes out where the, you know, the salmon head looks kind of pointy like that. So I've seen some regional signs that look like that. Uh, most people just fingerspell. And I've seen shrimp and prawn go both ways, depending on who signs it. Lobster. And I've mostly have seen crab this way, lobster. But it also may be a regional thing where I've seen lobster this way and crab this way. So a lot of that's going to depend on where you are and where you're living. Um, I'll do a vocab review where I'll go over all of these. Mo there's a ton of them. I'm trying to put in asterisks is where the finger spelling is either the primary sign or just an, an option. Um, and then I'm going to do a assignment advice video as well with this one. Is, so, um, Cool. So that's really it with the lecture. There's not that much in the way of grammatical features that I want to talk about uh, for it. For the most part, we're pretty much straight OSV or just describing something, describing the cooking process or the eating process or something like that. So that's pretty much it for the lecture.